Chel Diocno, Jose Manuel Chel Icaciano Diocno, J.D. Tagalog D. Zocno is a Filipino lawyer, educator, and advocate. He serves as chairman of the Free Legal Assistance Group FLAG and the founding dean of the De La Salle University College of Law. He had served as special counsel of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee. Early Life and Education Diocno was born to the eighth of ten children by Senator Jose W. Diocno and his wife Carmen Nina Icasino. He is the great-grandson of Ananias Diocno, the leader of the Visayans during the Philippine-American War, and father of Nationalist and Supreme Court Justice Sen. Ramon Diocno Diocno completed his elementary and secondary education at La Salle Green Hills. Afterwards, he earned a degree in philosophy at the University of the Philippines Diliman, studied Bachelor of Laws at the University of the Philippines College of Law for a year until 1983, and then studied law at Northern Illinois University NIU in the United States, where he graduated Juris Doctor, magna cum laude, in 1986. He passed the bar of the state of Illinois in 1987, and after his father's death, he came back to the Philippines and took the bar examinations of 1988. He passed the 1988 bar examinations and started his law practice the following year. Personal Life Diocno is the son of Filipino nationalist Senator Jose W. Capepe Diocno, the father of human rights and intellectual leader of the opposition against the Marcos regime. His sister, Maris Diocno, is a senior administrator in the University of the Philippines system and served as chair of the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Diocno married a writer named Divina Aramin, and his eldest son is the filmmaker Pepe, who was named after his grandfather. Politics Diocno launched a campaign for a seat in the Senate under the Otso Diarzo coalition, which was against the human rights violations of Rodrigo Duterte, in the 2019 Philippine general election but lost with 6,308,065 votes. On July 19, 2019, the PNP Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, SIG controlled by Duterte, filed charges against Diocno and other members of the opposition for sedition, cyber libel, libel estafa, harboring a criminal, and obstruction of justice. On February 10, 2020, he was cleared of all charges. Legal Career Diocno passed the bar examination in the state of Illinois and in the Philippines. In his return to the Philippines in 1987, he served as a lawyer and advocate of human rights. Diocno is a member and the current chairman of FLAG. Notable Cases Diocno was part of the team of FLAG lawyers who prosecuted the 27 police officers implicated in the 1995 Curitong Bailang Rubout case. He is the counsel of Rodolfo John Lazada, and BN slash ZT whistleblower and lead witness in the ombudsman's cases against former National Economic and Development Authority Neta Head Romulo Neri and former Commission on Elections Camelot Chair Benjamin Abalos. In 2007, he along with fellow flag lawyers Theodore O. T. and Ricardo A. Sunger Roman III, petitioned and were granted by the Supreme Court to issue writs of amparo for leftist activists Raymond and Reynaldo Manilo, two brothers who were allegedly tortured by agents of the military. In 2008, he won the release of the Tagaytay Five, leftist activists, who were illegally detained by the Philippine National Police. Together with Attorney T, Diocno represented some media organizations in a petition against the Arroyo administration. The case brought together members of ABS-CBN, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, Probe Productions Newsbreak, and the Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism, among others, for allegedly being rounded up for their illegal coverage of the Manila Peninsula siege. Government Service In the 1990s, 
Diakno served in the Commission on Human Rights under Presidents Kari Aquino and Fidel V. Ramos. He was also a member of the Committee on Human Rights and Due Process at the Integrated Bar of the Philippines IBP. In 2001, Diakno was the private prosecutor in the impeachment proceedings against then-President Joseph Estrada. That same year, he became general counsel of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, the Committee on Accountability of Public Officers and Investigation under Sen. Joker Arroyo. In 2004, he was appointed special counsel at the Development Bank of the Philippines. Until 2019, Diakno served as the presidential advisor on human rights at the Integrated Bar of the Philippines and was a member of the Panel of Arbitrators at the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes. Academy. In 2006, Diakno set up the Diakno Law Center providing legal training to agencies such as the Camelec, the Public Attorney's Office, the Philippine National Police, the Office of the Ombudsman, the Bureau of Internal Revenue, the Bureau of Customs, and the IBP. In 2009, he established the De La Salle University College of Law and became its founding dean. Advocacy. Human Rights. He advocated human rights in his law practice with the Free Legal Assistance Group as counsel to the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee and in his role as the founding dean of the De La Salle University College of Law. Position Against Martial Law as the descendant of former Senator and martial law critic Jose W. Diakno, Chel Diakno has taken a stand against the alleged historical negationism and denialism regarding the Philippines' martial law era under Ferdinand Marcos. Authored Books Diakno has written three books, Diakno on Trial, The Techniques and Ideals of the Filipino Lawyer, The Complete Guide to Handling a Case in Court, published by the Diakno Law Center in 2007. He has also written news articles on forensic DNA, electronic evidence, anti-terrorism legislation, media law, and judicial reform. Filmography Diakno did a voiceover for some scenes of the 2018 film by Bust. Ancestry 